All right, hi guys. Uh, welcome to Mrs. Co-op Spotlight. I know we did this yesterday, but the live stream didn't seem to work out for us, so we are recording locally and uploading it. So you won't be able to watch us live anymore, but still you'll see what we're doing, and um, we'll probably stick to our Wednesday table. So uh, again, I've been with me and Devin. Luckily, they are able to join me. Hello. Say hi. hi there. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so hopefully you didn't watch last night's live stream, and this will actually be fun and informative again. So we are playing Horde, which is a game that came out last April, so it's been around for a while. Uh, consequently, consequently, it's not very expensive on Steam. It's $10 right now, and there is a four-pack available, which I very much recommend, especially since we are playing co-op, and I very much recommend this game for co-op. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get started, and we'll talk about it as we play. Alright. Ding! I just lost a lot of dinging, I apologize for the reason. <laughs> the menu is really loud and I can't do anything about it. Alrighty, so, as you can see, we are dragons in this game, and our objective is to get a lot of gold. And we do that by burning things. Um, and of course there are other nuances to the game besides just burning things. Mostly burning. Mostly burning. Ah. <laughs> so, we are playing uh, treasure mode, right? Yep. So, the goal in this mode is just to get as much treasure as possible. Uh, you do not, uh, you're not kind of going towards this, the same goal. You're competing against each other to get more gold. Um, and because of that, it's like here's a little town. What I can do is I can burn it, but not destroy it completely. And then what will eventually happen is uh, the town will be like afraid of me and they'll want to pay tribute. And then they'll start sending me gold on a regular basis, which is always awesome. And also, since we are uh, not going to a sink goal, that means we can kill each other. Uh, uh, Renan, no. you destroyed my town! I was working on that town. No! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's already here, there's a little number floating above my horde, and that signifies my multiplier. And the trick to this game is to keep that multiplier up. Uh, you will lose your multiplier whenever you die, uh, or if a thief comes and steals from you. So, I just want to be wary of thieves. Thieves. Oh, well, That's okay. right. I might not have take over this time. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess, right um, I guess they're called forts, they're not called castles. No. no it doesn't really I, I'm not sure they are. I don't have true confirmation here. Uh, but essentially, princesses will spawn from these castles, or whatever you want to call them. And uh, knights as well. Knights are you know, to protect the realm. And for the most part, they'll leave you alone unless you're in the area, unless you're kind of swimming around with whatever you're doing. Or if you steal a princess. I'm still impressed that they come in numbers. Time to kill you. Man, I cannot get tribute on this town. Oh, okay, so here we go. Here's a princess carriage. So I'm gonna burn it. And then the little princess will oh. And I'm gonna steal her and take her to my horde. And then what happens is you ransom her. Uh, so that little white bar indicates the time that it takes to ransom. And so in that time, usually knights come after you. They're really annoying. Knights are kind of jerks. I know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how am I feel? Ah. No! <laughs> <laughs> no, you took my town! Wow. Ugh, jerk face. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, this game is much more fun co op than single player because you have this kind of dynamic uh, mm -hmm. with people you know screwing you over. Always fun. Yes. <laughs> and a little later we'll show you a mode where you actually do work together. Uh, and that's... I, I think that's more fun, but mostly because I'm not very non competition. <laughs> I don't like to go for the kill. Ah. Oh. oh, darn it, I was trying to get back. Haha. Why are you always team up on Because you always win! Yeah, I'm in last right now. Second. <laughs> 
Ah, that is not my stuff. So we should probably talk a little bit more about how we, why we like the game. And, um, uh, yeah. You burn shit. Well, you burn shit, and there's something very, <laughs> very. Pretty. It's, uh, it's, a, it's nice, a nice pick up and play sort of game. There's not yeah. an enormous amount of depth to it, but it's fun. You don't need a whole lot of different mechanics to make a game good, as long as it's got a yeah. good premise, and I think this has a good premise. What I really like about it is it's kind of like art in a way, because when you look, you can tell it's like, it's supposed to look like you're this little mini dragon on a desk or something. Yeah, like yeah. a toy. Playboard. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I guess I haven't mentioned too, uh, once you get enough treasure, you get to level up the dragon. Uh, so you can breathe more fire, and you can fly faster, or you can carry, carry more loot. Carry more loot, so it's important. Oh, there's these little golden eggs you get too. Oh, and you can see the towns, and they have, there's like different sorts of structures. So I just like burn a church. When you burn a church, you get a health bonus. Which is nice. You know, we need health on the fly. And in general, the farms create money. The, um, the towns use money, and they all just keep getting bigger. So if you leave them alone, everything gets really big, but uh, then you don't get any loot, so... Yeah. Kind of a balance how much you want to let these places grow versus how much money you want. Plus they get pretty dangerous pretty quickly. Yeah, there's archers defending it, uh, and you always gotta watch out for the knights, because the bigger the knight fortresses are, the more princesses you get, but then the harder it is to keep those princesses. Yes. Yeah. And then if you get killed a lot by knights, uh, a red knight will spawn, which is like, has more Super defenses, nice. and it, it's really good at killing you. And sometimes it gets really frustrating, you get caught in this little, like, web of uh, red knights coming after you, you can't do anything about it. Ah! Who killed my town? Sorry, I'm not trying to steal it. Oh. <laughs> Devin did it. <laughs> Might have pulled that. <laughs> These like little structures here with green roofs, those are uh, taverns. They are what spawn with thieves, so a lot of times you don't want to burn them, even if they are in your own town. Thieves that spawn in your in the town that you attribute to don't care, they still come steal your gold. Wreck your multiplier. Precious multiplier. Yeah, you gotta watch out for those thieves. <laughs> uh, you can see in the middle of the screen we have a timer. Uh, so this mode in particular is only 10 minutes. Uh, is, is there a way to change that time? Negative. <laughs> yeah, so it lets you sit down for a quick ten minute rounds, which is good depending on what you want. But uh, when I was kind of preparing for co op ah. day, I, I did look at some of the reviews, and uh, it seemed that it was right down the middle. There was some reviewers saying, like, oh, it's really fun and imaginative, and it's really close to being something really awesome, and then um, a bunch of reviewers saying like, oh yeah, you played for like an hour and it's not fun oh. anymore, it's just boring, you played it, it is what it is. Yeah. It's not the sort of game that you play for hours on end, and over and over forever, but it doesn't have to be. Good to revisit it every once in a while. Yeah. Yep. Like, in our case. <laughs> exactly. We played it about a year ago, and didn't play it for a long time. is getting me too. Some special enemies that start spawning near the end of the game. 
putting me over. Stay away from my village. No, kill it. Kill the village. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Go kill the village. And ogres have an oh, yeah. enormous amount of gold on them. No, my multiplier. <laughs> but you can also kind of uh, manipulate them to going towards certain areas of the map. Mm -hmm. and, uh, some strategy in there. Screwing over He's well on the village now. Oh, 40 seconds left. Nope. Ah, get him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you might overtake me in the last minute. <laughs> got 30 seconds. Uh oh. Oh, no, my village. Oh, help me. I like the way that one says this. Complain. Ah, ah. Yeah, five seconds. <gasps> no, you yes. took me. It's not possible. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> one. See, this is anyone's game to the very end. <laughs> All right, so that's that's the first mode. With um, I mean, I guess in some ways you can kind of teach yourself, but it'll depend on the people you play with in terms yeah. of how much you try to each other over. Or how much you want to sleep on the couch tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Never sleep on the couch, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, next, next mode. mode. Yeah, so play some Princess Rush. Get a map up. Uh, let's do this one. Okay. So, uh, Princess Rush is very straightforward. You want to get as many princesses as possible and uh, ransom them. And then I guess whoever gets the most princesses wins. I think it's set, there's a cap at 15, so usually the game right. will go really fast, um, as long as people are on top of it. Right. So yeah, you see those thing, towns with taverns spawn more thieves, so I want to get rid of those taverns. And That's princess awesome. mode has some bitchin' music. I know! <laughs> ding, 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 ding. I really do like the music. Oh, did I miss? Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Not that there's anything to do. Not that you have a multiplier. You'll get multiplier two seconds faster than me. <laughs> so there's no uh, game gameplay or score reason to collect gold in this mode, but uh, you do want to keep collecting gold so that you can buy your upgrades. And yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's mine. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, princess. princess. Come okay. back. No! So you heard me go on to uh, playing the game after. Help me! After you've leveled up a whole bunch, because you're like super slow. <laughs> Night to kill you in one hit. Uh, uh, nice to kill my princess. Oh. You can see this area next to me is getting a bit dangerous. Uh, there's a lot of archers. Be really careful. And stealing money from Ben is particularly entertaining. You dick. Yeah, so what a power up <laughs> is like you go steal from the other players, which is pretty low move, but sometimes necessary. Ah! Oh. <laughs> so the higher level there? princesses, yeah. they have a longer range zone, which can be really annoying. Okay. It's easier for things to come in and take her away. 
What? Okay, I'll fix it. It's all about risk and reward. And fire. Fire! Tribute man. Ooh, I just died. No! Thief got me! Darn it. A thief got Devin too! Oh no! Whoop! <laughs> So when you die, you have to go back to your horde and respawn all of your health, and you can't do anything. You can't yeah, fire, you can't move, oh. Can't rescue your princess as well. <laughs> I don't know if you're rescuing her. <laughs> yeah. Get away from my town! <laughs> Ah. No. no! Gotta do what you have to. No, I hit the game. It's the one. Something like that. Oh, jeez. You're slightly more powerful fire than me. <laughs> Oh, there's a wizard tower. Oh, yep, and there's wizard tower. Oh, and I just got killed by one. <laughs> wizard towers suck. They're very yes, powerful. Yes, and they can upgrade and they just shoot at you. They're kind of hard to kill. But, but the reward is a giant, giant ruby. Giant ruby. Giant ruby. Sweet ruby. Go away, go away. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing over here? <laughs> I was trying to steal your money, but it wasn't working. <laughs> Oh, help me. Oh, don't take my princess. No. Yeah. Uh -oh. I'm falling ahead. You're about to win. Oh, no. Oh, snap. Ah, ah. Sneaky, <laughs> sneaky. So, yeah, I've got to 15 princesses. That mode is really fast. Um, I don't prefer it. Just because it's kind of like. It's one dimensional. Yeah. And you could, one thing we haven't really been showing off is that you could steal princesses from other people's hordes. So if you right. want to drop one off and leave, you can go back and get it. Uh, so another way to screw your friends over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Shall we move on to cooperative? Yes. Alright, that's a good map. The mound. Yeah, how about we do the mound? Yeah. <laughs> so, in this, uh, game setting. You are all trying to collect for the same pile, so there's no tribute in town, so it sucks a little bit. Um, but there's no screen each other over either, which yep. may or may not add. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Depends on your idea of fun. Uh, but, but in co-op mode, there's usually much more presence of ogres and wither towers. Right, so, so you have to work together. Yeah, you have to work together, there's a little bit more risk. But still, a 10 minute game. And a couple of levels are very difficult. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're not showing we're one, not of those showing today. one of those today. <laughs> <laughs> the other caveat to this game mode is that you all share your multipliers. When one of you dies, you can't screw over the whole team. Yeah, yeah. It's really annoying. God, why'd you die? Don't die. Stop dying. Mm -hmm. Suck. Suck. Especially Devin. <laughs> yeah, it's usually me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like a MOBA where you, you know, you kind of have to choose your battles. Yeah. Do I retreat? Do I, you know, no one to run. Do I go for that last piece of gold and risk getting shot by an arrow, or just go back and heal? Yeah. Because I find that when you battle knights, especially, it can be really hard to uh, tell if they're really in range to hit you or not. Mm -hmm. I don't know, do you guys have any kind of strategy when you guys level up? I, I generally just level everything up as I can. I focus on 
mostly fire damage and speed, but I play every game as a glass cannon, so... <laughs> Whether or not that's the best strategy. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think speed is definitely important. Yeah, because the more loot you collect, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. So I guess if you if you put a lot of speed into your dragon, it's it's not as big of a deal if you don't want to level up your. I mean, you're gonna have to go back and heal anyway. So it seems like really really increasing the amount of treasure you can hold is not necessarily wow. that advantageous. Because. You seem to get hurt a lot. It's kind of really unavoidable. We are having way too much map control. No. <laughs> <That's level enough>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want the yeah, cities grow a little bit. Uh, down downside to doing really well is then the cities don't make any money. Yeah. Sometimes you can kind of just like just kill things that are dangerous. Yeah, or the wandering carts. It's not the fastest way to make money, but. Get super fast. So, so it looks like your wings change when you really upgrade your lights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like to concentrate in the beginning of the game on like the castles and uh, archers right. and whatnot that hold yeah. you back less when you kill them early in the game. And princesses usually take a while to spawn anyway, so you don't want the castles. Yeah. Thief, kill it. You have to be really on top of thieves when you're in co op mode. Especially on a map like this. Yeah, they sneak in there constantly. You're like, oh, I have a little player. Big Up so fast, keep, keep on top of it. <laughs> Leveling up is kind of weird though, because I'm not quite sure how the mechanic works. Because sometimes you can level multiple things, sometimes you only can use one. Do you guys know what I mean? Uh, I just go with the flow. Yeah, I'm just kind of curious about how it works exactly. There's a princess and a thief. Uh, then the name of the song. <laughs> <laughs> Joker and the thief. Yeah, yeah. not the princess. <laughs> I know. Alright, so here's a giant ruby that I am carrying back after we killed the wizard tower. Yeah, the rubies for the wizard towers are more dangerous when you're playing uh, competitively because you're very slow and a very big target. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so whenever you find the ruby, your, your speed definitely goes down. And uh, you have to drop all the wizard tower. you were carrying. Uh, Alright, you can't even hold princesses while you're holding the rubies. I don't think we've lost our multiplier once so far. No, we're not making enough money. I know. Let's just let everything get big. Just like, like a wild. Another wizard tower on the right. Go for it. In some ways, I kind of wish that uh, it would show both of our names, like how much of a person is actually contributing, instead of just giving us all the same number. It'll show at the end. I know. Yeah. Right. There's a tower at the top. Got a golden egg. So we're gonna have a power up so that like excessive amount of fire. Yeah, so you, once you kind of learn the power-ups, you uh, can kind of get picky about them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Once you speed a lot, especially towards the end of the game. And then the, the ice power is awesome against wizard towers because it can actually yes. prevent them from shooting you while you're trying to kill it. <laughs> I never actually tried that. Yeah. I learned that a long time ago. I know it's awesome at killing your uh, opponents in competitive mode. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's so heavy. 
It's a heavy burden to bear. Great oh, I just Oh, I just killed myself with the fireworks trick. <gasps> Finally lost our oh, fire. How dare you! <sighs> yep, so that's another one of the risks in the game. There are fireworks trucks, which you can use in a very smart way, or in this case, you can use it. <laughs> yeah. uh, in a smart way, that would be you would set it on fire when it's like right outside of town or something, and then um, near some nights. Yeah, you can use a sort of a grenade. Yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, it takes a little bit of finesse to kind of figure it out. You can kind of see that. Uh, so I didn't really use finesse there, I just lit it on fire. And then it just blew up in a little bit. Smart, I would have waited until this was a or something. <laughs> You can see on the, you know, on the edges of my screen, there's always little indicators kind of telling me where everyone is and if there's a special card or something. Oh, there's all those things. All those things are the game mechanics are very nice. Finally, upgrade my really the whole treasure. We gotta let some of these castles get bigger so we can get princesses. That's where you get all the money, honestly. Because you get 3,000. So, stop burning out castles. Alright, have fun. So, the tower. Which is kind of like a fireball. Those are great against fire. Wizard Towers 2. Let's do a lot of damage. See, right now I kind of hit up on that rock face while I was flaming the knight and then he couldn't attack me. Tried. Oh my gosh, when you upgrade your uh, ability to hold stuff, you become a fat dragon. <laughs> oh my gosh, looks, <laughs> my butt looks huge! <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea, look at that, look that chubby friggin' dragon. <laughs> yeah, that's usually my lowest priority to upgrade. Oh no, I'm just, I'm just kind of screwing with it. So like, yeah, okay, upgrade. What does it look like? <laughs> 12 seconds left. Getting down to 10 seconds. Kill everything! Man, we were way too on top of it. <laughs> yeah, no, we couldn't make any money. Really didn't make we'll that much money. We'll see how all. we. Uh, pathetic. Alright, we're end the wise. Up on the copper, silver, or bronze. I think we were destroying gold. 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 Nice. We apparently did old. awesome. Totally, totally guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're great. Never mind. <laughs> well played. We know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is there a horde mode in multiplayer? No, no it's, it's just, just a uh, co-op co princess rush thing. and normal treasure mode. Oh, okay. So in the single player mode, there is another uh, game mode called Horde. And in that mode, you uh, basically, you only have one life. You can't ever die. If you die, it's, it. it's the end. Uh, and so what you have to do is you have to kind of run around, see if you want to collect gold. And it upgrades you automatically. You don't actually get to choose how you upgrade. Uh, and the way you get health is to kill princesses. Like, uh, so you don't, you're not ransoming them, you're, you're gonna burn them and you, when you pick them up you get health. Uh, and it gets really hectic really fast, and if one of those people really enjoys, um, a challenge, uh, single player horde is probably good. Uh, and there's a lot of achievements associated with this game too that, uh, yeah. that you can strive for. <laughs> I haven't even looked at them all. Um, but yeah, so this is our... Spotlight on board. Uh, tune in next week, and 
I'm not sure what we'll be playing yet, but if you have a suggestion, feel free to comment on FinlandZero.com on one of the blogs, whatever you want to do. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.